Hello guys, come on in. My name's Emma, for those of you who don't know, and welcome to my home. Uh, I'm excited, you're gonna see today, just gonna take you through um, my everyday makeup look as I get ready in the morning. Um, this is our house, and uh, Coco and Graham just out getting some morning acai bowls, and um, I just want you guys to see a little piece of us and uh, yeah, we're gonna go on this journey together. So come on in and um, you're just gonna get ready with me this morning and do my quick everyday go-to makeup look, um, what I do in the mornings. So let's go. So this is Coco's room and Coco's bathroom. She ends up having the better bathroom, like the more spacious bathroom. Um, so I like to sometimes come in here um, when, they're, when they're not around because I've got a bit more room. And we're just gonna do what my everyday makeup is and in, if I get up in the morning. Um, a lot of you have asked on my Instagram, so uh, I just wanted to show you guys exactly what I do. So this is very raw, this is very real. You'll see me in the morning, I've got nothing on my face. I've had a shower, um, wash my hair. Hair stuff will come next time, in the future. It's exciting things to come. So uh, basically now, um, uh, I'm just running a, um, a muslin, uh, like a flannel. Us Brits call them flannels, but I think you guys call them muslin cloths. And I'm running it as hot as possible. Um, so you wanna get this flannel as hot as possible. This is what I do every morning. And sometimes I, uh, I'll probably take a little bit longer to show you guys exactly my routine, but normally I've got 10 or 15 minutes before I rush out the door. Um, and for those of you who don't know, uh, I'm a celebrity makeup and hair artist, for want of a better word or term. And uh, for those of you who do know, then you know what I do already. Uh, so a hot muslin cloth. Um, I put this over my face. I don't use any cleanser, by the way, in the mornings. So no cleanser. I've just had a shower. Um, I've got nothing on my skin. And I put it, I let it. I don't think you can hear me when I've got my face under the flannel. But I lay this on my face and press it on my face. And you want the skin to get a little bit pinky from the heat. And I kind of almost exfoliate the skin, like, you know, like rub the skin like this. I've been doing this routine on myself, oh my God, for years. And then I sometimes, if I've got a little bit of extra time, I do it one more time. Next up, Nivea cream. I've been, again, I've been using, um, this has been in my life on and off for a very long time. And today, this is what I do. On myself, as just a quick um, getting ready in the morning. Take a, a good little amount on your fingertip. And remember, you have to really warm this through. So, I put on my fingertips and I rub it in. You don't want it to go, go completely transparent, but you want it to really warmed up so it's sheared out. It's really thick, this cream, guys. And then I pat. On myself, I don't actually use um, in the mornings. I don't use a, an, an actual eye cream. You can see I'm also patting it on the skin. I'm not rubbing it in. I also wanted to do it this way for, for anyone and everyone that wants to start watching um, uh, watching this channel. I wanted to keep it as raw and as real as possible. That there's going to be times when it's going to get full on glamour, guys. So just so there's going to be times of that as well. But there's also going to be a lot of times when it's just me getting ready at home, Coco and Graham and you know, what we're doing on a daily basis. But there's gonna be lots of, lots of interesting things coming up, so. Okay, so now we've done the prep the skin. We are now gonna go on, I do my makeup a little bit differently. Um, so now we are gonna, Coco, oh! Th this is the acai bowl, guys. Now if any of you, Coco, come here, buddy. Now if any of you um, haven't seen on my Instagram, Coco, this, oh by the way guys, this is Coco Rain. Coco, say hi. Say hi. 
Say hi to everyone. Um, she's just gone out with Daddy to get these. Uh, Graham, did you get one for Jess? Yeah, I left it downstairs. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Um, these acai bowls by Royal Juice Bar in uh, Studio City. Try some. You want to try some? Uh, actually, you've not tried this one, have you, Coco? Okay. You normally get the other. You normally get the strawberry and banana smoothie from there, don't you? Um, you won't like that. It's mint. By the way, these are the best. I'm not just saying this. No sponsorship whatsoever. I don't get these for free, Oscar. But these are the best acai bowls in town. Okay, look at that beauty. Peanut butter, granola, um, chia seeds, flaxseed, banana, strawberries, and acai. Seriously, the best. Thank you, Graham and Coco. Yours. You're gonna. Oh, you stayed up here, buddy. What? What, what do you think, Coco? Thumbs up. I love it. She just gave a thumbs up to that. Okay, well, we'll, we'll eat it in a minute, Coco. It's a bit cold, okay? So we'll eat it in a minute. You're going to stay in here and get ready with Mummy? Okay, so lately I have been trying out um, this cream um, blush from Milk, and it's called Perk. Perk Lurky. Um, so I like to... I smile, and I put this on the apples of the cheeks. If you sped this up, literally within... 10 minutes this is what I do in the mornings but I'm just taking my time a little hmm okay yeah I'll give you some in a second go go, go. <laughs> now you want the acai bowls um but so I'm just taking my time a little bit with you guys to show you you know exactly what I do so like I... you want an acai bowl I'll give you another little spoon in a second I pat it in um onto the onto the cheeks with itself uh, sometimes I'll just go to the powder, which I'm going to show you in a second what I use. Um, and then I use my fingers. And I pat it in. I actually occasionally um, do this. I just take a, a little bit and I just put two little swipes here on the forehead. There are days, okay, when I will do a three or five minute makeup. And I will use this or another cream blush. Um, this one I've been using. Uh, it's a lip ink from Chanel. Um, their colours are great actually lip stains but I use them on my cheeks and I do that with clients as well or the glossier um, uh, lips um, and I use them on Mommy, my cheeks ask you oh okay have one more spoonful and then mummy's got to carry on doing this this is if I'm at home this is our life guys so uh, welcome <laughs> welcome to, to it oh you want a bit of strawberry okay that's basically all you want and that's the good part as well and so now you're just going to take all my good parts of, of the acai. Okay. Right. Right, we'll have to do some in a minute, Coco, okay? I'm just going to quickly just... Coco, you put your spoon in there. Um, okay. As I was saying, in the mornings, sometimes if it was just a three to five minute, I literally will use some cream blush. Not necessarily this one all the time, but this has just been one of my favorites lately i will use a cream blush and a little bit of concealer under the eyes and finish with um one of my go-to's which i'll explain afterwards and that's actually what i will sometimes just do so blush concealer and uh and some cream uh on top so now i've done that i'm going to do a little bit more for you guys today uh, another one of my favourite products to use on myself and my clients is Vita Liberata's Body Blur. They also do um, a lighter version, which is more of like a HD blurring primer. This can be used and is mainly for the body, but it's also for the face. Um, you have to know, you have to know how to use it though. You okay, Coco? Okay. Um, so I'm gonna bronze myself a little bit because I feel extremely pale at the minute. Um, and I'm going to show you the best way to do this. You can use it on your fingers, with your fingers, sorry. Uh, I like to take, um, this is actually a Becca Cosmetics brush, uh, and my brushes normally are clean every day. Girls and guys, clean brushes. Clean your brushes. And beauty blenders, wash them every time, every applica application. I used this just um, yesterday, so it's got a little bit of, but clean your brushes. So I've just used a small amount, you can see. Okay, so I'm literally going to put this around the temples. Put this around the temples and the forehead. Around here, just at the sides, 
temples. So I'm dispersing most of the product like this, and then I'm gonna buff in. I'm gonna take it a little bit under the jawline. And sometimes I'll use like a bigger, like this Le Mer one is amazing, this bigger brush. And you wanna just like really buff. You wanna really buff it in. Brush it over the nose sometimes, around the chin. You wanna create, or for myself and my quick everyday makeup, I like to create just a glowy, bronzy, sun-kissed um, look. There's still remnants on this brush, so I take a little bit more under the chin. So I'm contouring, this is also contouring guys, but in a very light way and also kind of bronzing at the same time. I don't like harsh contour um, on myself. I never use uh, powdered contour on myself. I just use more of a bronzer. But as you can see, and I'll always buff the ears in a little bit. And I don't know how that's looking now, but you should be able to see the skin sort of like, you know, come to life a bit more, or have a bit more flush, have a bit more colour, um, which all adds to, you know, the glowy youthfulness that we all like and want. And what, what I love to kind of do on my clients as well. Okay, so I've warmed the skin and bronzed it. Um, sometimes at this point, I will, I love a good blush on the cheek. Um, so sometimes I'll go back in with a little bit more. Um, I always, smile i get my client smile um and then i just pat around the apples of the cheeks and bring it up for that real f warm flush on the cheeks because sometimes if you just put a little bit of color on your face i'm not talking about coverage of any kind i'm talking about a bit of color um that can really give warmth and structure and a little bit of glow um before you even go in with any kind of coverage uh, I don't always, I don't do this on my clients per se, um, depending on the look, but I mean, I'll always do skin first with my clients, always. And I'll always do that with myself as well. I have to do the skin first, whether I'm going to be doing a natural every day like this, or whether I'm going to be going into doing evening, more of a glamorous event look. Okay, so now I am going to do the concealer and a little bit of color correction. And lately I've been loving and using on myself the Glossier Stretch Concealer. It's almost um, uh, RMS Beauty. If any of you guys have used RMS, um, it's, it's very similar to RMS. Uh, it's kind of like a tinted moisturizer as well. Um, and again, I'll just use my fingers. And I'm now going to go in under the eyes. I'm really mainly around the T-zone area. This is my own little pot for myself, so I don't have to scrape it out, guys. Um, and again, I will just literally use my fingers here. And like I said, if someone tunes in and is just hearing or starting to watch now, then just as you know, this is what I do on myself. This is my go-to everyday makeup when I'm in a rush and I'm needing to just put a little bit of something on. I've not done anything to my face or my skin. I think I've probably had only, count on one, no, two hands maybe, the amount of facials and just normal facial. I've had in my lifetime. Uh, having said that, I don't smoke, have never, well, I smoked, I smoked a couple of cigarettes when I was a kid. Um, I don't drink alcohol. Alcohol is a big, alcohol and smoking, and not drinking a lot of water, is a big deal for skin, guys. Just wanna put it out there, so sorry, but it's like, they're really bad aging things. So on myself, I don't use a lot of brushes, especially for this look. I would just literally use my fingers. So I would literally just 
cover any little areas or any kind of, if you get a little blemish or a little spot or anything. Um, so I've done it under the eyes and around the mouth area. I kind of tend to do this area, like the T-zone area. Um, and again, I'm just, this is just concealer, but like I said, it's almost like a tinted moisturizer. Um, and I always then go up this center section and fan it out and cover this bit here and just above the brows. And then I will also use the same uh, concealer to just go over the um, eyes a little bit. Okay, I just do a little bit. I still like the skin to look like skin. And on myself, I don't use hardly any powders. Uh, and by powders, I mean setting powders. Like I'll show you, I use like a, a highlighter or a, or blush or bronzing powders, but I don't use any setting powders. Now, if you've got on more an oily skin, then you might want to use a, like a little bit more of a mattifying primer, um, but don't use ones that have got too much silicon in them because depending on the concealer or coverage you then put over, um, you will sometimes get that beading Okay, so I think I'm getting there with my skin. And then a little bit just on the eyelid. Okay. Now I've got several products as my kind of go-tos that are, you know, today I'll use the Milk Blush. Um, sometimes I'll just go straight in with like this Becca and Chrissy palette and the um, Hibiscus Bloom Powder blush is gorgeous i think i'm going to pop that on after and i'll just show you so i always lightly cover the eyelid you make sure you want to get into like all this area here just very lightly okay so i'm going to go in with a little bit of becca cosmetics um under eye brightening corrector um this is the uh the original the light to medium I probably would mix that now with this colouring that I've got with the medium to dark. So I'm also going to use this Pro, uh, the Pro Corrector palette by MAC. These ones are great as well for colour correcting. The darkness under the eyes, you want it to like be a little bit peachy to counteract the dark purple grey under eye. Um, and I just put that, I put it at the corner of the eye there and just in here. And I'm just going to go through this now, guys, because um, we can do more of um, an intense tutorial of, of why I do certain things in another video. But I'm just because I need to rush and get ready now. So, OK, so I'm just doing this and then I'll colour correct sometimes just in certain areas. Always better as well to stand back from the mirror and turn your head slight profiles so you can see where certain things need to be adjusted okay i'm gonna pat on what i normally use this is one of my ride or dies guys it's been for a long time some of you will know that who follow me already uh the becca um cosmetics times chrissy palette uh, as you can see i'm running out of lots of things um the Malibu Solil I'll use as a warmer bronzer contour. Uh, I've run out of that, so I use the cream uh, body blur today. Um, I'm going to pat on a bit of the Hibiscus Bloom again onto the cheeks. There's a bit more blush. And then I'm going to add some highlight. With my finger, I'm going to go in with the Beach Nectar and just on top of my eyelids. So... I just put a little bit of this all over the eyelid. And then uh, if you wanted to, I don't always normally do this, but quickly I will add a little bit of bronzer just to the socket, to warm the socket up in here. So you just want to take it across and just buff this in. Okay, one of my little magic products is coming in a second. And I'm going to pat some blush 
onto the lips to give it a little bit of a And I'm not going to use any mascara. I hardly use mascara actually on myself. And I'm not going to do my brows. I'm growing my brows out at the minute. So excuse me um, if they look a little bit messy. I'm going to show you a way you can just brush them up quickly though. Okay, so I've done that. I'm next going to use um, the same palette again. If I'm in a bind and a rush, I'll literally, with the hibiscus uh, bloom, with my fingers, uh, I'll pat in a little bit of the blush onto the lip. Pout, kind of bring your lips out like a <laughs> like a dark face, because then you can really kind of just get in there. I like this kind of look because it gives that sort of bitten lip as if you maybe just eat in like a, a lolly or whatever and it's like soft blurring around the edges and then lastly I will go in um, I'm using the fragrance 3 one today but normally I, I just use the original because I love um, I love the smell and the uh, spa like um, sorry the spa like smell of the original uh, but some people don't like the smell of um, of the original and I am going to pat on my lips Guys, this stuff is amazing. I've used it on myself and my clients for many years now, on and off. I'm now going to take a little bit more. You want a good little dollop. And I rub it in between my fingers to warm it up. It's very thick, guys. And then I pat on all the high points of the face. I bring it over the brow bone. I don't think, I'm not sure what, how much of this is being caught on the light. And then I take it down the center of the nose. And then I take it along the brow bone a little bit. And again, remember guys, this is just my everyday go-to. Hey Coco. Oh, you bought, oh my God, that, that concoction looks amazing. What is it? It's uh, it's it looks like a, a <laughs> an orange thick milkshake. Yet it's it's uh, putty. Nice. No, it's orange. Coffee. Oh, orange coffee. Oh wow! Thank you, Coco, for my orange coffee. That's gonna be yummy. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna use a little bit more. And you can. I also like to dab it on the, the eyelid as well. And then just during the day, you can just, you know, you'll go back in with your fingertips um, just to make sure it doesn't get too creasy. Tip of the nose, over the cupid's bow, a little bit here. Okay, and then I will literally just, if I've taken off any excess of, if I can see any, redness come through I'll just kind of go back there's a little spot up here and normally again if I was using it with what I was doing with my clients now I'd go back in with a tiny little like paintbrush and I'd just like cover tiny little any like pigmentation or spots or anything that needed covering up and then that would be it guys yeah so um and then like step back and I Brush the brows, sorry, as well. Um, and I will use literally just, an, this is an old toothbrush that I've, it wasn't used as a toothbrush, but it's a toothbrush and it's old. I've had in my makeup kit and I would just, uh, for many years, so I would just brush this up, the brows up. Uh, but normally I don't use, I don't, as a day to day, I don't do my brows and I don't use mascara. Dad? Coco, how you doing, buddy? I love it. When she's upstairs, she's got this thing saying, Mommy, Daddy, you come up here. You come up here. She's hilarious. Okay. So, yeah, this is my go-to every day. Let's come over to the window here. Coco, how are you doing? 
Okay. Oh, it's beginning to rain. I love the rain. Coco's middle name is called Rain. That's why she was called Rain, because I love it when it rains. And also, we spell it K-O-K-O. -K -O. People still message me and say, how's Coco doing? Spelt like Coco Chanel, and we don't spell it like that. It's fine, though. It's fine. Um, anyway, yeah, the day, the morning is gloomy, so I'm not sure what the lighting's looking like. And again, trying to just keep it real for you guys. Uh, but this is my everyday go-to glow. Um, you can definitely pop, or well, some, some days, and I will definitely pop the highlighter. I've not added any more highlighter on. Actually, one thing I will say that I absolutely love and that's great to add on um, on top, lastly, or even um, I normally add it as a first primer, is Becca Cosmetics Backlight Primer. As you can see, my one is like empty. Um, but you can even pat this on, lastly, the decolletage area or just on these brow bones. Uh, that's not a brow bone. That's a cheek. Um, but lastly, you can you can put it on uh, your um, your cheekbones and around the brow bones and all the areas that you want even more of a highlight. Uh, and we can do a whole other video just on highlighters, uh, which I will do at some point. Uh, but I normally use that all over my face as a primer. First of all, I didn't today. I just didn't. Um, but that's another. We can do another. Get ready with me, and I'll use be using different products. Ick. And yes, and this is one of, just one of my quick everyday makeups. Like I said, it's going to be longer in this video because I took my time, wanted to show you guys uh, some of the products and how I just literally do my own makeup. And as you can see, hardly no brushes, just my fingers. Um, now within 10 minutes, 15 minutes, I've done this. Uh, that's along with the, with using the hot flannel in first and the moisturizer and everything as well so 10 10 minutes 10 15 minutes um i hope you've enjoyed it i hope you've liked it um so yeah so there'll be lots more stuff um with us as well as a family um coming with us along with us to events and uh, behind the scenes loads of behind the scenes stuff breaking that third wall love it i like to see that myself and so I'm trying to think of ways and what to do to show you guys and so there'll be lots more of that going on I wanted to keep it try and keep it as real and as raw for you guys as possible um, and then tell me what you might want to see more of uh, or less of <laughs> stop saying like and guys that could be that could be an option. I've often been told that. Uh, I also just wanted to let you know, you know, what I'm all about. And, you know, this is me. Like it or lump it or don't like it. Uh, and this is, this is us, shall I say, as well. This is us. Uh, so like and subscribe. I'm using the word like again now. Yeah, like and subscribe and do whatever they do on YouTube and what they say on YouTube. I'm new to this, so I don't know. But I see people going go like down there and comment down there so i'm looking forward to the journey of what's to come and we'll just play it by ear but uh, for now this is my quick everyday makeup and uh i think jess i think it's a well-deserved time we should go and have those acai bowls now and mm -hmm. um take a break and put our feet up and have them yeah. so let's go and eat them okay bye see you later